This is the best of the university's quiz challenge. Ten universities from across Zimbabwe. University of Zimbabwe, Great Zimbabwe University, the National University of Science and Technology, Lupana State University, Chinoy University of Technology, Midland State University, Harare Institution of Technology, Bindura University of Science Education, Gwanda State University, and Manikalan State University of Applied Sciences. Which team will be the last standing to become the first champion of the best of the university's quiz challenge? It's amazing here at the Best of the Universities Quiz Challenge 2019 and we are still advocating for the sexual reproductive health rights through a quiz that is there with all 10 state universities. I'm here joined by Midland State University and I just want them to introduce themselves and we want to know what's going on because this is one of the vibrant yeah, state institutions that we have here in Zimbabwe. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? What's your name? I'm fine. Oh, okay, I'm Nobet Mashoko. Hello, how are you? I'm Nyesha Munda, currently the Minister of Gender and Social Affairs. Oh, that's interesting because I'm also currently the Minister of Gender. We'll talk later when you're done. Um, hello, sure. sir, how are you? Hello, I'm back to Nakokilo. Okay, thank you so much. So I want to get to know now from the team captain. Team captain, what do you have in store for us? Have you guys been having sleepless nights? Have you been practicing? How is it going? How is it going? And are you well prepared? Because I'm told inside there that it gets tricky. People get cold feet. It also gets interesting. People get wins and people are really confident. Sometimes they're a bit low. So I want to know, will I have the same team spirit when you guys are out of um, the studio? Um, it's very tricky because you tend to find that it's a competition. Mm -hmm. We've been trying hard, we've been working, we've been having these sleepless nights, especially last night we didn't sleep. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's a competition, you will never know everything. You keep on fighting, you keep on struggling, but I believe we'll make it. I hope. All right, thank you so much, Team Captain. As you can see, they're so enthusiastic. They've been having sleepless nights, and we want to know, are these sleepless nights going to pay? And they are believing. You can see it's getting spiritual here. It's getting heavy. And I just want to find out from you guys, do you guys have a team name? And if you do, what's your team name? Okay, yeah, sure, we have a team name. And our team name is Saddam. Team Saddam. Yeah. Yes. Before we start off with the quiz challenge, let's take a look at how the teams were selected in their respective groups. Group A, Cut versus GZU. Group B, Nast versus GSU. Group C, Muswasi versus Heat. Group D, LSU versus Buse. Group E, MSU versus UZ. This will be the first set of our round one. Only top eight out of ten will make it into round two. Now let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, today's show is proudly brought to you by Say What. In proud partnership with the Ministry of Health and Child Care, the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education, Science and Technology Development, and the Embassy of Sweden. Without further ado, we are going to go straight into the first segment. Are you guys ready? Yes. You're okay? Yes. You're not nervous? No, we're fine. You are fine. <laughs> you that? Are you fine? We're all right. Okay, question number one. In biomedical research, what does the abbreviation MPT stand for? And question number two, in TB management, what does MDR stand for? I'll repeat the questions. Question number one, in biomedical research, what does the abbreviation MPT stand for? And in question number two, in TB management, what does MDR stand for? Biomedical research has become a critical part as its ultimate goal is to develop effective treatments and cures. What do you know about MPT as a young person? Catch us live on Facebook and join the conversation. Over to you, Quizmaster. Pants down, it's time up. Team 1, please read out your answers. We don't have any. Team 2, please read out your answers. Um, first answer, mother to child transmission. First answer number 2, management of TV. Thank you, I will have your answers. Question number 3, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> Nervous? Yes. 
Question number three. In TB and HIV screening for infants, what does DBS stand for? And question number four. In HIV combination treatment, what drugs are in the combination tenolam E? I'll repeat the question. Question number three. In TB and HIV screening for infants, what does DBS stand for? And in question number four. In HIV combination treatment, what drugs are in the combination tenolam E? Questions are definitely growing more complex. Let's see if the teams know their TB management and HIV screening. Tenolam E's role is to prevent the HIV virus from multiplying in the body. The question remains, which drugs are in the combination? Quizmaster, time's up. Pens down, it's time up. Who we'll have your results? Team one. For the second question that you asked. Okay. So for the second question, the drugs are tenofov, lamivudine, and uh, ifeverens. Team two. Um, for the second question, it's Travida and Ratagravia. For the benefit of our audience at home, I will read out the answers for segment one. For question number one, the answer is multi multi-purpose prevention technology. For question number two, the answer is multiple drug resistance. For question number three, the answer is dry blood sample. And for question number four, the, the answer is tenofovir, lamuvidin, and efavirenz. Catch us after the break. Stay tuned in for more on the best of the university's quiz challenge after the commercial break. Welcome back to the best of the university's quiz challenge. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUPC2019, hashtag Inspire Learning, and hashtag Unique Challenge. Quizmaster, let's get to it. This is the best of the university's quiz challenge, and now we are in segment two. How are you feeling, guys? Oh, a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous. Yes. At least it's a little, right? Yeah. <laughs> guys? Shaken. <laughs> Shaken. Slightly yes. intimidated also. Uh, let's see how you're going to feel after this segment. Question number five. Post-exposure prophylaxis is a way for people who are exposed to HIV to get treatment to reduce their chances of HIV acquisition. The treatment has a combination of drugs. Give one example of the drugs. Question number six. There has been evidence in Zimbabwe that most women have experienced sexual and physical violence. Name any other two forms of gender-based violence which are not physical or sexual violence. I'll repeat the questions. Question number five. Post-exposure prophylaxis is a way for people who are exposed to HIV to get treatment to reduce their chances of HIV acquisition. The treatment has a combination of drugs. Give one example of the drugs. And question number six. There has been evidence in Zimbabwe that most women have experienced sexual and physical violence. Name any other two forms of gender-based violence which are not physical or sexual violence. In an impressive first round, both teams are definitely going for the win. The word pep can be tongue tangling. Let's hope this question doesn't tangle the team's brains. Join us live on Facebook where you get to learn so much more on the best of the university's quiz challenge. Over to you, quiz master. Pens down, it's time up. Team one, please read your answers. Okay, for number one, we have a cycle of V. Then for number two, we have emotional and uh, economic abuse. Thank you. Team two. Uh, for num question number five, we have Trabida. And for question number six, we've got emotional abuse and economic or financial abuse. Thank you. Please tell us a little bit more about MSU. Uh, MSU, we are a university of first choice, a university of excellence. We only produce the best of students. And what do you think about UZ? 
UZET is an amazing institution, brilliant students. And UZET, what do you think about MSU? Honestly speaking, uh, MSU is quite a lovely institution and um, they are progressing uh, which is quite well and um, I think they are not worth the competitors for this course competition. Interesting, <laughs> I thought this was going to be a fellowship, not a slaughter. <laughs> <laughs> Question number seven, are you guys ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. Question number seven. What does the term sexual harassment mean? Question number eight. <laughs> Define the term maternal mortality. I'll repeat, question number seven, what does the term sexual harassment mean? And question number eight, define the term maternal mortality. We're back at it again, talking about sexual harassment and maternal mortality. It's critical that young people know when they're being sexually harassed and they actually know their rights. Check your time. Timbani, over to you. Pens down, it's time up. Pens down. <laughs> Team one. My well, first question. Um it's that is this is the death of pregnant mothers by anam. So the second question is unwelcome sexual advancement towards a person, e.g. flirting and bonding. Thank you, team two. <coughs> okay, um for question seven, sexual harassment is violence, sexual abuse that can be done between two genders or the same sex. And for question number eight, it's the death of pregnant women and children. Thank you. Now, we'd love to hear your thoughts and engagements on our social media platform. It's hashtag Inspire Learning, hashtag BOTUQC 2019, and hashtag Unique Challenge. After the break. Stay tuned in for more on the best of the university's quiz challenge after the commercial break. Welcome back to the best of the university's quiz challenge. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUQC 2019, Hashtag Inspire Learning and Hashtag Unique Challenge. Quizmaster, let's get to it. This is segment three of the best of the university's quiz challenge. And once again, we have an exciting show between Midland State University and the University of Zimbabwe. Now, before I proceed to the, que to the questions, let me give a recap of the answers of segment two. So for question number six, the answer is verbal, emotional, and economic. For question number five, the answer is PEP normally consists of three anti-HIV anti drugs from two of the different classes. The most recent UK guidelines recommend using Truvada, a fixed dose combination tablet combining emtricitabine and tenofovir from the NRTI class and rautegravir from the integrase inhibitor class. Question number seven, and the answer to that is unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of sexual nature. And question number eight, the maternal mortality ratio is the annual number of female deaths by 100,000 live births from any cause related to or aggravated by pregnancy or its management, excluding accidental or incidental causes. Question number nine, are you guys ready? Yeah. How are you feeling now? A little bit okay. A little bit okay? Yeah. Question number nine. What is Zimbabwe's maternal mortality rate as of 2015? And question number 10. What is the name of a medical doctor who specializes in male's reproductive system? I'll repeat the question. Question number nine. What is Zimbabwe's maternal mortality rate as of 2015? And question number 10. What is the ma what is the name of a medical doctor who specializes in male's reproductive system? We continue with the mortality rate question and both teams are definitely going head on. Join us live on Facebook. Remember, our hashtags are BOTUQC2019, Inspire Learning and Unique Challenge. Over to you, Timbani. Pens 
pens down. It's time up. Time's up. Team one. Okay. Uh, the ma- the maternal mortality rate is uh, 80 per thousand. And then for number two, uh, the name is the urologist. Team two. Okay, for question nine, it's um, 55%. And for question 10, it's just a surgeon. Question number 11. The Zimbabwean constitution provides for the establishment of commissions with specific roles. What is the role of the Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission? And question number 12. Which country in Southern Africa recently decriminalized LGBTIQ through a court ruling? I'll repeat question number 11. The Zimbabwean constitution provides for the establishment of commissions with specific roles. What is the role of the Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission? And question number 12. Which country in Southern Africa recently criminalized LGBTIQ through a court ruling? The Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission has been playing a vital role in fighting for Zimbabweans' human rights. Do you know the right steps to take if you're being violated as a young person? Let's see if the two teams know its role. Remember to join us live on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to be part of this great conversation. Over to you, Quizmaster. Pens down, it's time up. Team one, what did you write? For the first one, um, the Zimbabwe Human Rights Commission is the custodian, so its role is it safeguards, promotes, safeguards and promotes human rights. For the second question, the country is Botswana. Thank you. Team two, what did you write? Okay, for question 11, is to promote human rights for every citizen, regardless of gender, sex, religion, and age. And for question 12, it's Botswana. Thank you. A quick rundown of the, qu- the answers that I have here. For question number 9, the answer is 443 out of the 100,000 live births. For question number 10, the answer is urologist. For question number 11, the answer is promote the protection, establishment and realization of all human rights and freedoms. Monitor and assess observance of human rights and freedoms in Zimbabwe. Conduct research on issues relating to human rights freedoms in social justice and number 12, Botswana. Results after the break. How can we introduce quiz amongst uh, the students? Right now we are, we, we are starting with the 10 universities that uh, this project, Action for Choice, is, uh, uh, is focusing on. So that, that's how the, uh, the quiz aspect came about, to ensure that we engage the students in a way that will benefit them in, in multiple ways. You know, them being part of this quiz, the process preparing for the quiz, it, is, it brought some exciting moments for them. And that on its own, again, can also result in us achieving uh, the intended objective of SEWAT to ensure that we have got uh, a social adjusted group of young people who can make informed decisions about their, uh, about their sexual lives. Welcome back. This is the best of the university's quiz challenge. And with me here are the score sheet for Group E. What a tense round this was, ladies and gentlemen. How are you feeling, Team UZ? Scared. Scared? <laughs> yeah. MSU, how are you feeling? Uh, we are feeling so happy because we got the chance to participate in the first ever to be held quiz competitions. So we're feeling good. Thank you. That is a very nice perspective indeed. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, that marks the end of the third and final segment of round one. Who secured the most points? Who reigned? Results to be announced in a moment. The University of Zimbabwe lags behind with 75 points, whilst Midland State University is successful with 90 points. 
A big round of applause to Midland State University. Now, what could have this competition been without the University of Zimbabwe? This is one of the oldest universities here, but then still, they're still ongoing. So are we here in the show and we got them. We got it all here. I'm telling you, it's interesting. It's exciting. If you're not tuned in, you're missing out. And if you just tuned in, tag a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend that is going down here at the Best of the Universities Quiz Challenge 2019. So I'm here with the University of Zimbabwe team, and I just want to start from her and them and ask them their names and also what they're expecting in this competition. Hi. Hello. Hi, what's your name? I'm Emily Chipoma Plus. Hi there, I am Lawrence Zuda. Hi, I'm Hazel Jojo. Alright, awesome, awesome. I just want to find out from the team captain. Team captain, how are you? Are you having cold feet? Some teams have gone in there, some are crying, some are scratching their hands. I'm telling you, it's a nail-biting atmosphere. This marks the end of all the group sessions for the Best of Universities Peace Challenge. Now what's left for me is to announce the teams that are breaking into the top.